Hi, Gemini, getting ready to do your end of the month, end of March love reading. All right. <clears throat> Move that. All right. So, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Gemini. Okay. Okay, strength with the seven of swords, two of coin, four of coin, six of swords, the king of cups, chariot, the page of wands, the knight of wands, and the six of wands. Under the deck is the high priestess. So for some of you, you may be getting over a relationship possibly where there was cheating. <coughs> Excuse me. Because with the Seven of Swords and the Strength card, there's something that um, you may have had to deal with in the past. Maybe there was lies or cheating, you know, sneaky behavior. It may be with this water sign here, but this might be someone new coming in. But let's, let's pull some cards and see what is the Strength card. What is the Strength card? Two of Coin. Okay, so you may be feeling... A little bit uneasy maybe you're just feeling like you're off balanced um, your emotions may be going up and down you may not know which way to go or what to do about a certain person or you know a relationship or you might be with this person you may be single and still thinking about them um, or maybe they're coming in and out of your life what is the seven of swords what is the seven of swords ace of swords new thought new beginnings something new coming in you wanting something new so it may be that for some of you up until now you've been thinking about getting back together with someone or maybe you've been wondering you know should i stay with them should i go something happened whatever it was and this is really i think taking a toll on you you've been you know really in your mind a lot you've been worried or upset um, you felt off balanced. You don't know which way to go. But it looks like you will finally get some clarity at the end of the month. And if nothing else, you're going to start, you know, deciding that you want either new love, you want someone better. Um, but let's see. If you, maybe you want to fix this relationship. I'm not sure. But what is the two of coin? What is the two of coin? Okay, nine of coin. Yes. So some of you... Um, may not be single. So some of you may decide to be single. You may find out about this, you know, Seven of Swords, whatever this is going on. Okay. What is Six of Swords? What is Six of Swords? The Sun. Okay, so you're moving in the right direction. So... Whatever happened with this that's caused you to, you know, feel down, feel down on yourself. Something happened. Maybe you find out a lot. You, you're going to hear about them doing something. Um, this is going to help lead you to a better direction with the Six of Swords. Uh, maybe there's someone new coming in here also with the King of Cups. Let's put a card on him. Who is this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups? Chariot moving ahead. So if it is a water sign... Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, uh, you may be leaving them. You may be riding away from them with your chariot. You may decide enough's enough. I'm moving on. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Uh, but let me see the chariot here. What is the chariot? Chariot, please. <clears throat> Queen of, yeah, so this is the energy of you moving forward, seeing things very clearly, Gemini. Um, so again, you could have been with someone, water sign, they may have cheated, lied, they may be still doing that, they may be sneaking around, uh, you may be waiting to hear from them and you just don't know where they're at. Um, something's going to cause you to decide finally, you know, I'm moving forward, I'm not going to put up with this. It could be that, again, though, you may not know what they're thinking or feeling, you don't know, um, you know what they want to do, but if you do find out something I think it's going to push you, you know, in the right direction to move away from them. What is the page of wands? What is the page of wands? Four of cups and offer. What is this offer? 
Now, this may be what's influencing you, all right? Four of coin. Okay. Because this was influencing the reading. So you guys may be getting um, a message or an invitation, something like that, from an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or from someone that you have been interested in and may be asking you out. You have the option of Four of Cups taking an opportunity or Four of Coin hanging on to the past. So to me, really, it's up to you what you want to do. But this could be, you know, maybe someone you were hoping to hear from. Again, maybe they were waiting for you to be single with this energy, but this is what's influencing you to move forward. So now it makes kind of more sense. So again, maybe you need to move out if you're living together or you need to change your status, whatever it is, so people know that you're not going to sit around and wait for this person. You're not going to put up with their bullshit. Um, <clears throat> you're hoping, you know, you're fearing the Knight of Wands. So this definitely could be, you know, someone flirtatious, fun coming in fire sign, but you're afraid it's a knight of wands. You don't want a player. Let me put a card on this to find out. Is this knight of wands a player? Who is this knight of wands? Is this knight of wands a player? An emperor. No, it may not be. Um, not really player energy, maybe a little stubborn, but they might be older than you might. They might have, um, you know, a nice, you know, degree or education. They might have you know, but this is actually not bad. So you'll just have to wait and see. Maybe you're fearing they're an emperor, though. You might be fearing they're an emperor or they're a knight of wands. You don't want one or the other. You want something nice, something in between. But we'll see. Your outcome is six of wands. So that's a victory. So that's, you know, being admired. Um, someone may be taking you out, enjoying yourself. You're happy about this person asking you out. What is the six of wands? What is the six of wands? Okay, hang on. Okay. Queen of coin. This might be at work. For some of you, I do get that this is a workplace fling. Okay? Uh, wherever you go. I get that that this is all of a sudden you're deciding, you know, hell with it. I'm going to go out with this person. They've been asking me out. They want to go out with me. I don't really want to, but I'm just going to do it. And I think that's why the queen of coin is showing up here. One more card, please. Okay. Something just fell out. I'll pick that up in a minute. Queen of coin. What's the six of wands? The hermit. Hmm. Page of swords fell out. Yeah, I kind of get for some of you, okay, this may be an earth sign. This may be something to do with work. Uh, this may be a friend. You may have a friend who's an earth sign who sets you up, who puts, puts you know, this date together. Um, it may not go as well as you want for some of you with a page of swords you may end up not liking this person in the hermit card um just heads up i'm going to be real with you this you know everything's not perfect in life with the, that energy there but i feel like this person really likes you and i don't think you're being rude or mean by going out with them you're just going to give them a chance they know that it's something to do fun to do for some of you um others of you these three cards together does tell me that you are going to receive some type of information. Something's going to be given to you or you're going to receive something. It's not going to be that great with the Page of Swords, but it's going to be truthful. It's going to be honest. It may hurt a little, but you're going to know the truth about something. And yes, you may need to sit with it a little bit with the Hermit or think it over or read it. Um, it may be, again, someone may give this to you, an earth sign, and if a friend, or you may be dealing with an earth sign. But either way, it looks as if whatever the six of wands in you wands is you are ending the month on a, a good note you're feeling better okay you're getting out of that old energy of thinking about this person and dealing with you know if it, they're lying whatever they're doing i'm going to put one card on the high priestess i'm going to put the one card on the high priestess that's underneath the deck death yeah you know that this relationship is over you know that you need to move on um Again, I think you're going to make that decision. It looks like here at the end of the month, you'll find something out. But you don't want to be with someone who is lying. You just don't. You want to move away from that energy. So I'm going to leave your reading there, you guys. Have a great week and take care.